It's really cold out, guys. I am cold. I paint my fingernail with the polish that changes color. It tells if I'm cold or not based on the polish, I guess. It changes. So if I was warm, it would be white. A white sparkly. But because I am cold, it is purple. It's the coolest polish ever, but I don't paint all my nails, just one. All right, got lots to do, let's do it. The skies look so gray out. They're so gray and stormy looking. So one of my biggest dilemmas while I'm out doing errands is I get hungry and I think I'll just stop and grab something really quick, you know, like I'll just grab some fries or a burger, which I know is not going to be as good as I think it is, but I tell myself, oh, I just need it. It's going to be delicious. And I'm faced with that dilemma every single time. I left today and I hadn't eaten yet. So here I am with this dilemma. What do I do? Do I stop and get something? Or do I just figure, I'll be okay. I'll be okay. I mean, I took my medications. I should have eaten, but I wasn't hungry. I mean, it's barely, I was going to say it's barely 9 o'clock, but it's almost 11. It's almost 11 and I need food. So do I stop and get something or do I run back home and get something? Hmm, what would you do? Stay tuned to see what I do. I don't know. I don't know. It's a dilemma every single time. I don't know. I think it's super hard for me because there are places to stop and get food everywhere at least where i live like every time you turn a corner there's another place so you can be like no i'm gonna be strong i'm not gonna stop i'll be okay and then you turn a corner and, okay well oh my gosh there's a place there oh what about over here and you could literally stop almost anywhere hmm. oh my gosh the sky is so great but way up high you can see a little bit of sun so I go to the store and get some stuff that's on sale before the big storm hits and the roads are covered with snow. Hopefully I make it home before the storm comes. Oh my goodness. See all that snow? Holy cow. Snow, snow, snow. Hopefully it is not sticking to the road. So that is good. Okay, so I got to the store and as I'm pulling in the lot, I notice there's a Culver's, like little eatery, fast food, whatever you want to call it. Culver's, I think is how you say it. Anyways, they serve fish, like fish and chips and stuff like that. Anyways, we've eaten there once and they're a little expensive, at least for our income. It's kind of pricey. And so, um, but when I drove by it, I was like, ooh, that sounds good. Like some... Uh, fish breaded and stuff and I have fish in my freezer some tilapia fillets but I don't know how to make them and so I'm hoping I can uh, google and find a good recipe that's keto or low carb but if you guys have any good recipes of how you would bake it I don't want to fry it only because I've cooked fish one other time and when I go to turn it it just basically falls apart and I have a big mess so if there's a recipe where you could like bread it somehow low carb like and then bake it, that would be good. So I'm going to see what I can find. But if you have any good ones, comment below because that sounds so good. I know I have some salmon fillets too that I would like to cook up. But yeah. All right. Well, I better get in here and get my stuff so I can get home before the storm hey, comes. I got what I came for. Thankfully, it doesn't always happen like that. Like you go for what you want and you actually get it. So that was good. Got what I came for. And now I'm headed home to put everything away. Right. I'm just going to show you this here in the garage. I can stick it in the freezer. I picked up five bags of cheese. It was on sale for $4.99 a bag. A lemon so Cody can make some fun drinks with soda and then a package of rolls because I know it's not low carb but I'm just craving bread right now and I'll explain my craving later but yeah so I picked up some rolls so finally getting to relax Woo! it's true sometimes I do I sometimes I do nothing and I just relax but got some shopping done got some errands done and now I'm chilling in my bed uh, I'm gonna put something on the TV. I'm getting ready to eat. I've heated up some, I don't know what to call it. I 
I made it last night and I only ate a few bites and I got full really fast, but it's chicken. Um, hold on, let me show you. Leftover chicken breast, like shredded, and some cauliflower that I had steamed that I just kind of mashed up. And I put the chicken on top of the cauliflower and I put cheese on it and poured a little bit of cream over it and microwaved it. And then I just now sprinkled some Parmesan cheese on it. So, I don't know. It's kind of like, um, like a haystack or chicken alfredo or something, but with cauliflower instead of rice or potatoes or noodles, it's got pieces of cauliflower in it. Sorry, I'm showing you my socks. See, I got socks on. Anyways, um, yeah, it looks it's so good and it smells so good. And it tastes so good, but I don't know what you would call it. So here's what's in it. I just told you, but I'm going to tell you again. Shredded chicken, cauliflower, steamed cauliflower, um, some shredded cheese, Kobe Jack cheese, and a little bit of heavy cream, and then I sprinkled it with Parmesan. So tell me what you would call this dish. And salt and pepper, sorry. All right, well, I'm going to eat this, watch a show, and I will see yeah. you next time.